Hey YouTube! So once again, it's tax time. But, hold on, hold on. Okay. I wanted to take a quick second because we've been getting a lot of questions on Facebook about this uh, thing with Sullivan High School in Indiana and the teacher that's made some pretty nasty comments. Um, the stuff that Diana Medley said were, were pretty disgusting. For somebody who's in charge of uh, children, mm -hmm. who should be treating all children equally, um, to, for her to say that her gay students, basically, or that gay people in general serve no purpose, shows exactly what she thinks about people. So for people who don't know, this has to do with the prom controversy, right? Yes. Okay, so they're basically, there's a school that has a prom every year, which every schools do, and now that kids are coming out younger and younger and they're feeling comfortable with their sexuality, mm -hmm. they're able to start asking people to prom because now their generation's more accepting. Yeah. So a group of Christian students at this high school have decided they want to have a prom where gay people are not invited. So this is not being sanctioned by the school. The school is still holding an inclusive prom that the majority of kids say that they're Or the to go church to. that these people are actually connected with. Basically, the priest has come out and said, we don't sanction this. It's incorrect. The church actually came out and said it was wrong. So they don't, that the people who had the meeting in their church uh -huh. to set this prom up were not representing the church. They disagreed with them. Right. So, so. It, it was a group of students at the school who were being helped by one of the special ed teachers, whose name was Diana Medley, who made the comment that she doesn't think gay people are born gay, that when her homosexual students come to her, you know, she cares for them, but she doesn't agree with what they do, and she doesn't think that gay people have a purpose. Okay, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video, it's kind of a, a rant video, but since Brian's here, it's a more cuddly, sweet rant video. <laughs> he makes me seem nicer when he's around, so I'm going to start putting him in my rant videos. Okay. It's actually tax time, and tax time is a good and bad thing. Before me and Brian married four years ago, tax time was a lot easier because we basically filed separately and we got back a lot more money. So I used to get back probably anywhere between four and five thousand dollars. And Brian, because he had super low income, would get back. What are you saying? <laughs> you were poor. You were broke ass. He would get back quite a bit too because of his status. Um, as you guys know, DOMA actually prevents gay couples from 1,138 rights. A really easy number to remember. Why? Because it was George Lucas's first movie, THX 1138. Yeah. And so that's kind of, I don't know if there's a coincidence or a conspiracy there, but um, we're basically, you know, people don't understand when sometimes gay people say when gay people are married, there's all these rights that we don't get. There's things that hurt us on a day-to-day -day basis. And ever since I've been married with Brian, my tax returns have been super complicated. I mean, it, it's the point where it used to cost me anywhere from three to $400 to do my taxes. Now it costs us seven to $800 to do our taxes, to have them prepared. And and you should see the hoops this lady has to jump through yeah. to get the federal government to accept those returns. And, and basically what it does is they no longer allow us to file as single or as married couples. There's this whole weird gray area now where we have to basically join our incomes and split our incomes apart and itemize everything. And it's just really super confusing. And it makes it so people like us who I actually think I'm semi-smart when it comes to math. I mean, do you think I'm... Oh. <laughs> I can't do my own taxes because they're so complicated now and the government expects so many you know, different things for gay couples to do that it, it's almost impossible for anybody to do their own taxes. So basically I have to pay $800 every year to do our taxes. Not only that, when I used to get four to $5,000 back, now I get around $1,300 back, which is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, we pay a lot of money into federal and state taxes, and we only get back that amount of money. Um, we both have two kids, which you, there's a child credit you get. There's all kinds of, of benefits that we would be able to benefit from as a married couple, but we don't because we're gay. So, you know, this anti-gay tax is ridiculous, and I think, you know, the federal government should fix it, or DOMA hopefully will be gotten rid of this coming June, and that'll fix it. Mm -hmm. But it, it's super frustrating to, to go down and do your taxes and basically be, you know, see that you're less than, you know, I often tease Brian and say, yeah. you know, if you just had a sex change, if you became a woman, we'd get back more money. But the, wouldn't that sort of negate the <laughs> taxes we would get back? <laughs> what do you I mean? mean? That's, that's an expensive process. No, San Francisco <laughs> pays for it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a city, county, San Francisco employee. Yeah, I mean, no. you would get free, a free sex exchange. No. But no. It, it is super frustrating <laughs> yeah. to go down there and spend three hours, yeah. pay double the tax preparing fees yeah. to get back, you know, more than half 
I mean, to get back less than half of what yeah. you would have gotten had you either filed singly or filed as a married couple. And they don't allow you to do that. As gay couples, you're only you're required to only file in this one way. Whereas if you're a married straight couple, you have the option of either filing separately or filing together as a married couple, depending on which benefits you more. But as a gay couple, you do not have that option. So if you're a gay married couple out there, you need to file together. It's illegal for you to file separately. So that's one thing to think about if you are considering getting married. I don't think you should ever let an anti-gay law stop you from being, you know, getting married and spending, you know, your life with your partner. But it definitely makes things more complicated and it causes a lot of headache and heartache. Mm -hmm. So now that we've vented about taxes, I guess we'll take our 1300 bucks and travel across America. <laughs> Yep, that's probably yeah. what I do. A little few hotels for you? You want to camp so much? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, you two. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Bye, you two. And I believe that our love found its way through the current as the waves crash down. Thank you. Mm -hmm.